Dear students, welcome to Divya's Math Solutions. Today we are going to discuss Chapter 13, Probability, Exercise 13.1. Question number 14. Given that the two numbers appearing on throwing the two dice are different, find the probability of the event, the sum of the numbers on the dice is 4. So here they given two dice are throwing and the numbers appearing are different only. In, bo in both dice, the number appearing is different and the probability of the event, the sum of the number on the dice is 7. That is the condition is given. This is the conditional probability. Right. Sum is equal to 4 and then, then 2 dice are uh, throwing also. So, what we, we need to write? We need to write the sample space. Right. Sample space means sample space contain how many elements the two dice are uh, throwing means 6 into 6 is 36 is a sample space elements right 36 elements in the sample space then we can take the a be the event that the sum of the numbers on the dice is 4 and the b is the event that two numbers appearing on throwing the dice are different so two uh, conditions is given a we can take it as sum let uh, we should mention as let a be an event that the sum on the numbers the sum 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 of the numbers on the die is 4 and b be the event b be the event we can take it as let b be the event that they are given um, the numbers appearing on both the dice are different also numbers different so we need to mention let a be the event uh, the sum of the numbers on the dice is 4 and b be the event that two numbers appearing on both the dice are different. So a how we can write a means how I can write a means the sum is 4. So what are the numbers we can take in the first die we can take it as 1 and the second die I can take it as 3 that means 1 3. 3 plus 1 plus 3 is 4. So we can take it as 3 plus 1 also. 3 plus 1 is also 4. That means first die 1, second die 3. Next day, first die 3 and second die 1. The both in the both case sum is 4. Next day, we can take it as 2 and 2 also. In both the dice, 2 is appearing. 2 and 2 is sum is 4. Only 3 is there, right? That is the event A. The sum of the both the dice is 4. Next day, B be the event. That one we can write it as numbers are different so how about we can write first die is 1 second die is 2 1 3 1 4 1 5 1 6 like that 2 1 2 2 2 3 2 4 so 2 2 is not possible because uh, we need the uh, numbers are different only right that means 2, 4, and uh, here I write 2, 5, 2, 6, next step, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3 is not, uh, 3, 3 is not possible, but that means we need the numbers are different, right? So, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, next step, 4, 1, 4, 2, 4, 3, 4, 4 is not possible. Next step, 4, 5, 4, 6. Next step, 5, 1, 5, 2, 5, 3, 5, 4. 5, 5 is not possible. That means 5 and 5 are same. We need different numbers. Last one, 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5. 6, 6 is not possible. Correct. This is the set. The B means numbers are different. Number appearing on both the dice are different. Next, um, what we need to find out? We need to find the conditional probability. That means P of A upon B. Correct. That means P of A intersection B by P of B. Probability of B. Probability of A intersection B by probability of B. So, what is the value of A intersection B? We can find out first. A intersection B. A intersection B means in these two which one is common. That means 1, 3 is there, 3, 1 is there. 2, 2 is not possible because 2 and 2 are same number. That is not appearing over here. 1, 3 is here. Uh, 3, 1 is also here. That means A intersection B is 1, 3 and 3, 1. Right. So probability of A intersection B. Probability of A intersection B is equal to how many is there? 2. Right. 2 by Total numbers and 
number of outcomes by total number of outcomes what is total number of outcomes 36 that means uh, so 2 by 36 next uh, probability of b probability of b equal to in b how many elements are there 1 2 3 4 5 so like that 6 so 6 5s are 30 30 by 36 number of outcomes by total number of outcomes here number of outcomes is 30 by total number of outcomes is 36 so now we can find the value of conditional probability p of a upon b that means probability that the sum of the numbers on the dice is uh, uh, 4 given that two numbers appearing on dice are different that is the condition right the sum of the number is a upon the number both the numbers are different that means p of a in the session b is 2 by 36 divided by probability of b is 30 by 36 so 36 36 cancel what we will get 2 by 30 that means 1 by 15 is the answer question number 15 consider the exper experiment of throwing a dice if a multiple of 3 comes up throw the dice again so the condition if multiple of 3 that means 3 or 6 is coming means what we need to do we need to throw the dice again if any other number comes that means apart from 3 and 6 what are the numbers 1 2 4 and 5 that means we need to toss a coin so this is the sum uh, using this we are going to write the sample space for this experiment sample space yes we can write sample space as set we are going to right so the condition should be uh, careful if a multiple of 3 comes up that means if it is 3 or 6 means what we need to do we need to throw the die itself if it is any other number that means if it is 1 2 4 or 5 means we need to throw the coin that means head and the tail in the coin right so based on that we are going to write the sample space so first uh, the number we can take it as 1 that is not a multiple of 3 right so if it is 1 means what we need to do we need to throw, toss a coin the coin ha the coin have both head and tail that means along with the 1 what should come head is also coming the tail is there is two possibility either the head or tail right that means one head one tail we can write so the next number is 2 2 is also not a multiple of 3 so along with the 2 either head or tail is tail we can write so next number is 3 3 is the multiple multiple of 3 only right so if it is 3 means what we need to do we need to throw the die again so the die have what are the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 along with the 3 we need to write all the numbers that are all, all are the possibility right in the first die we will get 3 second die we will get 1 again first die 1 second die 2 3 1 3 2 3 3 3 4 3 5 3 6 so the, the 3 is over next number is 4 4 is not a multiple of 3 so along with the 4 either we will get a head or tail 4 h 4 t we can write next number is 5 5 is not a multiple if it is not multiple other than multiple of 3 means what we need to do we need to toss a coin coin how head and tail so 5 h 5 t we can write head and tail along with the 5 and the last number the last number of the die is 6 right so 6 is multiple of 3 so if it is 6 means what we need to do multiple of 3 comes up means we need to throw the die again so die have numbers 1 6 1 6 2 6 3 6 4 6 5 6 6 so we can find the number of elements in the sample space 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So the number of elements in the sample space n of s is 20, right? Then what we need to find? We need to find the probability of the event. Cohen shows the tail given that at least one die shows three. So what we need to first we can take it as let A be the event, the coin shows the tail. Let A be the event, the coin shows tail and b be the event and b be the uh, at least one die shows three at least one die shows three this is the event right so p of a upon b only we are finding that means we need to find the value of p of a intersection b right so first we can write the set a a set means coin shows tail. So what are the coins showing tail? 1t, 2t, 
then 4t and 5t these all are the coins shows in tail type that means 1t 2t 4t and 5t this is a set for coin shows in the tail so how many elements 1 2 3 4 here the number of elements are 4 next b set we can write b means the even at least one die shows 3 that is there should be one die shows 3 that means 3 1 is possible 3 1 3 2 3 3 3 4 3 5 3 6 then here 6 3 6 3 that's all right so at least one then two is also possible at least one should one uh, die should show three here how many elements one two three four five six seven here the number of elements is seven so what we need to find a intersection b we need to find out a intersection b means from here which one is common anything is common no this is a null set only right this is a null set like this all we can write or we can represent as like this also null set there is no element is common from a and b correct so what we what is the probability probability of a intersection b equal to here nothing that means 0 by total number of elements are 20 0 by 20 means answer is 20 only then no need to write this one anyway this is 0 by something means 0 only that is what is the probability record probability means p of a upon b equal to p of a intersection b by p of b so a intersection b is 0 means what is the answer the answer is 0 only Question number 16 and 17 optional type. So 16 is if P of A equal to 1 by 2, P of B equal to 0, then find P of A upon B. P of A upon B means P of A intersection B by P of B. Right. P of A intersection B by here P of B is given as 0. Then A intersection value anything is fine. So P of A intersection B by something divided by 0 means answer is 0 only. That means P of A upon B is not defined. Correct. So which one option C is a correct answer. Sorry 1 by 0 is not defined. 1 by 0 is infinity only. Right. That means not defined. So what is the answer? Uh, option C is the correct answer. Not defined. Question number 17. Uh, if A and B are even such that P of A upon B equal to P of B upon A not equal to 0 then. So P of P upon B means how we can write P of A intersection B by P of B. This is same as P of B intersection A is same as A intersection B. A intersection B by P of A. So this both will cancel. Cross multiplying means what we will get P of A equal to P of B. P of A equal to P of B means what is option? Option D is the correct answer.